Hey guys, Ultimate Toy Collector here. So, we're going to take a look at number 23 from the Star Wars Black Series, Captain Cassian Andor. All right, this is going to be, uh, I guess, essentially it's going to be the second figure in this wave, which will kick off the Rogue One figures. Uh, we're going to see these um, launching on September 30th. I think that's officially Force Friday. And uh, it'll kick off some Midnight Madness. Um, Pre-orders for some of the Rogue One figures are already up. Uh, right now, check out Big Bad Toy Store. You can pre-order uh, Jen. And the pre-orders for the remaining figures should be up very soon. So maybe by the time I post this, it might be up. Um, or very soon thereafter. Alright, so... Uh, not much is known about these figures, so I really can't give you much background story besides what is actually on the box. Um, but, let's take a look at them. Alright, so this is the Star Wars Black Series uh, packaging that we've kind of grown to uh, like and love and hate at the same time. It's the window style packaging. We have an illustration here of Captain Cassian Andor. On the side here, number 23, our Star Wars Black Series 6-inch figures continue to grow. And right here, here's a little description. Let me back that up for you. All right, so here we go. I know I saw a couple people on like Facebook asking to, uh, to put this up. So if you're watching the video, here you go. Screenshot it, do what you want with it. And here's the UPC to help you search for it in stores. Freeze frame it if you want. Scan it on the scanners and uh, see if you can find them. All right. So without further ado, I would like to open this bad boy up and take a look at Captain Cassian. Andor. All right, so here we have him out of the box. Uh, now, just a, a quick glance at the figure, and kind of reminds me of a uh, Han Solo and his Hoth gear. And this is just, a, I guess, a little hint that we will be seeing uh, a snow planet in Rogue One. Um, honestly, I can't remember from the trailers. I know there was a lot of different stuff going on, so. Some of you guys that paid attention a little bit more than me uh, are definitely going to kill me on this one. But uh, I could just go by what I'm seeing right here in front of me. <laughs> so we're going to leave it at that. So let's take a look at the figure. First up, we'll take a look at the, uh, the face sculpt. All right? And actually, one thing that we're going to do, and I thought was pretty cool, the helmet comes off. I love it. Now the goggles don't. Um, the goggles are molded on here, but it's a kind of soft rubbery hat, so it's pretty cool. All right, so now let's look at the face here. And overall, not a bad job. The sculpt is there. Even the paint, uh, the paint app is there. For those of you who are a little better with the brush than I, you probably put a little more detail into this bad boy, uh, but looks pretty good. Definitely a step up from what we saw with Poe. Not throwing any, uh, you know, throwing any rocks at uh, Hasbro there, but, you know, Poe was a little bit lacking. All right, so looking pretty cool. So far, I would say this is one of my favorite figures from this wave. And uh, so we see he's in like a snow type jacket again. Uh, this is kind of reminiscent. Of Han Solo and his Hoth gear. And uh, let's see. It's molded onto the body. But you can kind of see a little separation. But don't worry. You won't be able to get this off the body without probably damaging the figure. So uh, it's harder up top and softer down here. Good job on the uh, the paint app on the jacket overall. 
not really n- no blotches or anything, so they did a good job. Unfortunately, the hood does not come over his head. That would have been pretty cool if we could have got the hood over the head, but I guess they figure with a removable hat, why do you need the hood? Why? And actually, if you look kind of close, you can get like a little reminiscent of Rocky. Actually, I can't remember the name of the movie. Cliffhanger. There you go. Kind of reminiscent of Cliffhanger. So you have a figure here that's a mixture between Han Solo and Hothgear and Sylvester Stallone and Cliffhanger. Pretty cool. Anyway. All right. So he comes with uh, two blasters. Show it to you. Just one blaster. And then his second blaster that he's able to keep in a uh, little thigh holster here. Here's the second one. All right. Uh, so the molded pouches around the waist. Um... I'm not sure if these are grenades or who knows. Maybe these are some part of a lightsaber or like a stun grenade. I don't know. Um, but they're down in here. They're not They're not removable, so. And another little pouch over here. Articulation's pretty basic off of what we've seen with the other Black Series figures. Um, but, you know, let me go over it with you. So we have... Uh, the head here, full articulation, ball hinge neck, down, side to side. We have some ball hinge shoulders and elbows. Decent range of motion. Elbows are single, not doubles, as we've seen. And the ball hinge wrist. These range of motion on that too. All right, so we have the torso articulation here. Um, this isn't the ab crunch. This is uh, right here. Get a full turn and spin out of them at the waist. Here's his crotch, and he has a thigh swivel down here. Thigh swivel here, too. Slightly restricted because of the thigh holster. We have double knees on both sides, so you can get a good crouched position. And we have, uh, let's see, a little ankle articulation here on both feet. All right, so there we have that. And, uh, yeah, articulation, basic of the Black Series figures. Um, however... Definitely like this one. Um, again, who do you think will be the peg warmer in this wave? You know, uh, we all know everybody wants these figures, but once uh, they're out there, who's going to be left hanging on those pegs? I want to say it's not going to be him. But you never know. So... Uh, you only got a few more weeks until these drop. So, um, I still have two more figures, and we're going to show them to you. Hope you guys uh, are looking forward to these figures as much as I am. And uh, thanks for tuning in. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, The Ultimate Toy Collector. And uh, hit up Big Bad Toy Store, the link 
will be in the description of this video. And, uh, you know, pre-orders should be live very soon for the remaining Rogue One figures. And uh, until next time, guys, happy hunting. Be sure to check out www.bigbadtoystore.com.